subscriber is going to be helping me with the video today because she won't stop barking and clawing at the door. Um, so today I'm going to be doing this Valentine's Day um, look. It's super pink, sparkly, um, themed, I guess you could say. I put this on my Instagram if you guys wanted to see this or like a um, bolder lip with a smoky eye. This one got a lot of likes, but I do think that I put it, the way that I put it on Instagram, I think a lot of people were accidentally clicking this. So I'm going to do a bold lip and a, um, a smoky eye later this week. But um, I also, this is a first impression for the Morphe Fluidity Foundation um, and concealer. I just bought both of those. So I used those together in this video. Um, so I'll tell you my thoughts, you know, and how it holds up as well. But I'm gonna jump right into it. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Um, leave comments, do whatever you have to do, share. Um, if not for me, you know, maybe I'll keep bringing Piper in the videos and everyone can watch her because she is a perfect little princess. But anyway, I will jump right into it. Let's go. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is to prime my face with the Benefit Pour primer in the areas oops that I tend to get pretty oily which is like my t-zone and just blend that out with my beauty blender okay so now that my face is primed I'm going to go in with my NYX color correcting concealer taking that orange shade and just dabbing that under my eyes to help to cover my dark circles Okay, so now it's time for foundation. So as I mentioned before, this is going to be kind of a, oops, first impressions um, for foundation. I'm using the new Morphe Fluidity Full Coverage Foundation. This shade is F1120. Um, this foundation is supposed to be super matte. And that is, you know, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that that's really important to me is to have you know, matte foundation. So I am very excited to try this one out. So here we go. I'm just gonna put some of that on the back of my hand. It's pretty li liquidy. When I guess I'm used to my, um, God, what do I use? The Tarte Amazonian Clay. And that one is not very runny. So I am not sure if this is gonna be the right color. If not, that's okay. I'll have, maybe just have to go back and get another one, but really what I'm trying to see here is if I like the consistency and the coverage, which so far I do. Um, this is honestly a really, cover, a really full coverage foundation and it doesn't feel like it at all. Like. Although I love the Tarte Amazonian Clay one, and that one doesn't feel super heavy on my face, this one feels like I literally don't have anything, which is always a plus. Okay, so first impressions, few things. Um, obviously this isn't the, so I got this color for when I haven't self-tanned. Um, clearly I'm a totally different color, but I've self-tanned a ton the past two days. Um, so when I don't have that self tan on, I think this is going to be a really good shade um, for me just because I am so pale. But right now it looks a little bit light, that's, that's for sure. Um, it's a little bit difficult to see. I need to get a camera that's a little bit better, but this is very full coverage. I barely put any of that on the back of my hand and <clears throat> I feel like it covered just as well as the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation does, and it doesn't feel very thick at all. Um, but one thing I will say is I my skin is super dry right now. I just got microneedling done, so I'm pretty dry because of that, and it's the winter, so it is clinging to, like, I don't know if you can see. Like, can you kind of see right here how the foundation's clinging a little bit to those dry parts on my face, which I don't love. Um, so maybe this would be better for somebody 
you know, who doesn't have dry skin, um, also maybe in the summer, I think, because my skin's never really dry in the summer, so this might be a, my summer foundation that I use, darker color, obviously, um, but I do like that it's matte, but it, it, it is a tiny bit drying, but overall, first impressions, I absolutely will wear this again. Um, probably just will wear it on the days that I don't have self tanner on and that my skin's not like overly dry. But anyway, so I am gonna do some under eye concealer because my under eyes are super dark today for some reason. I am not feeling the greatest, so it's definitely showing. Um, but I'm decided to get the Morphe concealer as well that goes along with the foundation. Um, obviously they want you to use them together. You don't have to get this concealer for this foundation. <clears throat> I think the formulas and the consistencies are just supposed to work well together. But so what I'm gonna do is just do three little dots, little triangles under my eyes. All right, I forgot to film um, blending in that, that under eye concealer, so I will show you with this one. Just going in with a wet beauty blender and working that product into my skin. And with this, you just do little dabbing motions. Try not to wipe. Okay, so now that that's blended in, I will say I really, really like that um, that concealer, probably a little bit more than the foundation. Um, and I just did like a little run through and looked in all the mirrors in my apartment and you know, with like the outside lighting and then the different lightings in my room and whatever. Um, and the foundation and the concealer together look really, really nice in all of those lightings. Like I know I, I've said it a thousand times, but just try to ignore that like this is kind of a different color than my neck um because it's normally not going to be knowing my normal skin tone this is actually like a really good really good color um and they work really really well together so i'm gonna give morphe an a plus with this foundation and concealer combo because i really really like it and it's very very affordable Okay, now I'm going in with my Too Faced Ethereal Setting Powder and Translucent and setting my foundation. Honestly, this foundation is so matte that I f don't even really feel like I need to do this step, um, which is saying a lot for me because this is like a crucial step usually for me. Today, I'm going to go in with my Benefit Hoola Bronzing Powder and contour the hollows of my cheeks. All right, so the theme of today's Valentine's makeup is I want it to be very pink and glittery and girly, so I am going to go in with this Milani Dolce Pink Baked Powder Blush. Um, I just got this not that long ago, and I have used it before, and I really like it. Um, hold on, I'll show you. So... It's got a little bit of a sheen shine to it, so I really like it for that reason. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my highlighter, and I'm going to do this Starburst color, which is this very pink, um, I don't know, it's just pink, it's like a pale pink, and apply that over my blush onto the high points of my cheeks. I know that that's what guys look for in a girl is sparkles all over their face. Trust me on this one. Okay, so now for the fun part, we are gonna do our eyes. So I'm going for like a really, obviously pink, glittery, um, kind of like a cut crease-ish look. So first thing I'm gonna do is go in with my transition color, which I'm going to use the Morphe 3 50, oh God. Morphe 35M Boss Moon Palette. And I, okay, we're gonna go in with this middle color. 
taking that on my really fluffy BH Cosmetics number no. 5 brush from the Rose Gold Collection. And for your transition color, you just want to work that into your crease. But this color doesn't need to be super um, precise. Like, it's okay if it gets down on your lid. It's okay if it kind of goes a little bit crease. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with a lighter, shimmery, glittery pink. I am going to do this top one. This is the BH Cosmetics. Take me back to Brazil, to Brazil Rio edition. And I'm gonna take this on a flat eyeshadow brush. Okay, so I'm just gonna take that color on this eyeshadow brush, hit it one time with the Max um, Fix Plus, which is just a setting powder for those who don't know, or not a setting powder, um, a setting spray. And if you want your eyeshadow to be super pigmented, um, and like metallic-y looking, just hit it with um, some water or some setting spray and it helps to really give you that effect. So I am just going to focus this on my lid. So the way I like to do this is just feel where my natural crease is and then dab that brush across my lid into my crease trying not to you don't want to go up into the transition color that you just made because you want to have it you know have that kind of like halo effect okay so now i'm going to go back in with that darker pink that i had used as my transition color and drag that across my bottom lash line okay next i'm going to go in with this Too faced chocolate bar or Too Faced White Chocolate Bar Palette. I'm gonna take that Pearl Candy. It's like a very, very pigmented white on my pinky and just pop that into my inner corner. So I'm actually gonna go back in with some more highlighter. That same pink I used, take it on my finger and just run it down the bridge of my nose. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Tardiest Mascara and just do some light mascara on my bottom lashes. Okay, so since I'm trying to keep this look really light and girly, I'm not gonna do a super bold lip. I'm just gonna go in with this Tardiest Glossy Lip Paint in the color Eager. And I'm not even really gonna be really precise with this. I'm just gonna kinda dab it all over. Okay, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it was super, super simple. If you do have any questions about how the makeup holds up, um, you know, the foundation, the Morphe foundation, or just any questions in general, let me know. I'm more than happy to answer them. But I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.